honest. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. How are you doing? Welcome back. Pretty good. Um, well, I've got some bad news in the in the game front. Oh no! We're we're bankrupt. Ah, oh, that's fine. We cannot afford to teleport. It costs five hundred bucks to teleport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is um, quite upsetting because I really want to just go do that mission now. Uh, Rashiel, um, doing it's ten bucks. Thank you. Thank you, Rashiel. Um, uh, and they say, uh, Morton Neb. Uh, last week, Steam Labs wouldn't let me throw money at you. Uh, so here I am, belated, reporting for duty. Uh, I also kind of fell in the pile. So I'm not exactly sure who we are or who we're killing. But chop oh. me up anyway. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Uh, so we're Chaos. We are, we're Zinch Warriors, and we're here to kill all humans. Fish hands flavoured chaos. <laughs> and we're killing humans. Oh, didn't we miss a fish hands question? Undead humans, and... Yeah. Oh. Oh, I just I'm remember. so sorry. Uh, sorry, that was on Numja Lunker. Yeah, because we got distracted by looking at our minis. Oh, yeah. He said, if you had a different fish on each hand, which fish would you pick? Uh, Criminal came from space. <sighs> I feel like, you know, what is just like stereotypical? I'd want that pog fish. It's <laughs> just that going crazy. Whoa! Like um, that all the time. It's just like a cod, just like a cod on one hand. <laughs> yeah. uh, and. Ooh, a swordfish. So you could like chop. You see, I still imagine like the fish is. It isn't just the fish coming out of your hand like a fish head mm -hmm. like literally a fish horizontal <laughs> is growing out <laughs> right. just it's even more impractical and shit yeah, you can't even grab stuff with the fish mouth yeah um <laughs> but i guess like you know like a if it was just a head like a shark shark head chomp 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 like a hammerhead shark head. Oh, that's got the, the, teeth. the chompers and the bumpers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I like to go chomping and bumping. Uh, and maybe like an eel. Get like start whipping that shit around. Mm. I guess the puffer fish is kind of fun. <laughs> Puffing that up <laughs> when you're mad. <laughs> it just like although just one puffer fish doesn't look right, does it? Two sad. puffer fish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I think we nailed it. The is quite practical then, because in just regular life, you know, they're smaller, you can still put a coat on. Oh, that's true. And then when you get mad, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got these two two things to like wang, these two wang into people. Shitty balloons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shitty spiky balloons. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's little fish that nibble people's toes for massages. Have you ever seen those, like at the shopping centers? I did that once. Did you? Dr. Footfish. <laughs> How <laughs> was, was it? it? Uh, it was a bit, it was a bit tickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was years ago when it was in um, the galleries in Bristol. Mm -hmm. Like, because we'd walk past there a lot, and one day we were just like, "Fuck it, let's try." Like, <laughs> yeah, let's let fish eat our toes. Um, and they come and they just kind of like nibble at your feet a was bit. It, was it relaxing? No. Was it did tickly? It, did it clean? Was it the best? I don't think so. Feet you've ever had? No, it just. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, they got their doctorate in foot tickling. Dr. Footfish, uh, <laughs> yeah. They're a hepatitis risk. Oh. Oh no. Apparently it's bad for fish. Well, I can believe that. Yeah. Because no one wants to nibble on my feet, holy shit. Gross. Gross. Uh, but yeah, it then closed down, like... Well, after you, you had the hair. I went the in, and they were just like, just oh my down. god, purge this place, <laughs> like, the, the fish, they were changing, and they just hit the, like, the panic red button, and the steel shutters came down, right. the incinerators just, like, you know, flamed, flamed the whole room. Oh no. And, um... That was it? Got, got rid of it. It's for the best. Uh, so Kingsley donates 10 bucks, thank you, Kingsley. And they say, Napoleon. 
and Benabol, the Tunisian. Oh. Uh, starting a Star Wars Legion League tonight. Ooh. Out of the 20 games or so I've played, I've won one. Oh. I'd say my KDR is pretty impressive. Oh. Uh, praise Kremlin. Uh, may he smile on my dice. Well, look at it this way, right? Once you've mastered a game, you're basically done. You know? You've got so much more gameplay ahead of you. Oh, that's nice. That's a positive way. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. suddenly when you're winning every game, it gets th there's nowhere, nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you have the furthest to possibly go. You have the most game ahead of you. Yeah. Kind of jealous. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so much value coming up. So much value. <laughs> what a backhanded compliment. I don't know what, you're, I don't know what you mean. No, I'm, it's really good. It's a good thing. Um, I'm sure I shall be fine. But, you know, when um, I was uh, playing Ben a lot at Epic, mm. uh, I think in the 20 or 30 games that we'd played, I don't even think I'd won one of them. Um, and then mm. uh, when we went to a tournament, mm -hmm. turned out <laughs> I was the second best player there because I'd only been playing Ben yeah. um, and smashed everyone that I came up against. So maybe oh, you've maybe you're only the best people. Only been playing a master. And steel sharpened steel. Yeah, and the uh, then you'll come in and um, do really well, real good. Yeah, that's a good point. Because man, one of the only reasons I did so well at Armada was because I had two other players I played with regularly who were both also really good at Armada. Like, yeah, yeah. You, if you've got other people that you can be talking to, yeah. thinking about the meta, and actually playing against other really good people. Because mm. uh, if you're playing people who are like, if you're a lot better than the people you're playing with, you don't, you don't get any better. In fact, you actually get a bit worse, I think. Mm. You get sloppy, you get into bad habits. Yeah. You make mistakes and it doesn't matter because you're never punished for them. Um, Man, I do love that story that you sometimes you tell about the epic tournament where you were like, you'd see your opponent make some moves and you'd be like, that's so different to what Ben does. Yeah. What are they doing? Oh my God, they've got some kind of master. I don't understand their strategy. They're going to annihilate me. And it wasn't until like the game was over that you were just like, oh no, they were just bad. They're just a fucking <laughs> idiot. But you were so like not confident about your own ability. Yeah. And people just do stuff. I'm like, There's a that's a fucking trap. Like, why would you move... You know, one of the core objectives of the game is to destroy your opponent's most expensive unit. Mm. And they put their most expensive unit in a way that, like, I could destroy that without really losing anything. <laughs> yeah, you're just handing me an objective here. Like, but why? Why would you do that? This like, must be a trap. <laughs> that, like, and I couldn't work it out. was like, fuck it, fine. I'll bite. I'll destroy it. <laughs> yeah. um, and then they're just like, oh... Oh fuck! I'm, oh, I'm losing oh, you now. My unit. <laughs> Just like oh no, right? Yeah, <laughs> they're not Ben. These people are fucking idiots uh, and just terrible at the game. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> So I'm just like an average idiot, and these guys are mega idiots. These are mega idiots. Um, uh, yeah, um, it was good. Good times. Always keep them guessing your next move. Yeah. Um, it kind of works sometimes, but I don't know. You do still need to have a move to make later on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I miss Epic. It's a good game. It's a good game. 